Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. In this tutorial, we will talk about how we can increase our rendering quality in Enscape for SketchUp. So the exact means is that how we can make some high quality renders very simple and easy for low config systems or high config systems. Let's get to work. In this case, I downloaded some type of file from the uh, 3dwarehouse.com which related to the uh, some type of urban or town design in here. So first of all, I need to create my shot and my camera. So if I press W, S, A and D, I can walk. And if I hold left click, I can move my cursor and look around. And if I hold right click and hold it, drag it, I can orbit in my environment. So when I go far from this town, you can see we have four houses. So it completely depends on you, which one you want to render for your job. For this training and tutorial, I prefer to use this medium rendering house in here. So I will move a little bit in this place, press space on my keyboard. And now I'm on the walk mode. I need to go a little bit in this side of my job because I need to create some two-point perspective camera. So I'm going to click on the projection in here and change it to the two-point perspective. So I need to click on the uh, output in this place related to visual setting, output box in here. And after that, I need to change the resolution to the custom mode. I need some square rendering. So I prefer to use 9020, 9020, 101 aspect ratio is the uh, fixed ratio for me. I need some PNG quality for better result in my renders. And if you increase the uh, rendering size to some type of maximum numbers like 8192, you can see massive quality of your job. But right now we don't need it. So I'm going to close it in here. If I click on the uh, save frame, now I have some type of square frame for my job. So I need to fix out my camera. Maybe something like that can be really good for me. So I'm going to click on the visual setting, move visual setting to the left side. And now I want to start using field of view as the zoom power. So I need to adjust my zooming. I think some number about 41 for your camera is good. Or maybe you can use some type of standard numbers like that like 47 right now i think 51 is completely good for my job so i can see the environment in here like that everything is done and now i want to create my frame and shots very simple and easy first of all i need to click on the uh, sky box in enscape for sketchup if you want to create some realistic exterior renders you need to do this work because when you click on the uh, sky box change it to the white cubes now you can play with the clouds setting and helps you to create some super realistic renders for your job. I'm going to start my job with the Osiris amount. So look at the sky in here. When I increase the Osiris amount, I can see some small clouds, which are unnecessary, but you can use them in the cloudy weathers. Right now, I need to reduce it as I can to the zero. Variety is not really important. Maybe something like that is enough. So I will set it out on the 22 and I can play with the density to create some type of density like this. And you can see it in your real time rendering. 61 is enough for it. And I think Cyrus amount, not really useful in this case. But if you want to increase it, hold it in some low numbers like 9%. So everything is good. Latitude and latitude related to the clouds position. So if I play with them, I can create some more realistic clouds. Right now, I want to use 6,800 meter and the altitude is about 5,100 meter. Everything is good. Now I'm going to click on the uh, atmosphere in here, turn off the fog option. I need more sun brightness, but right now I'm going to close the visual setting. If I hold shift on my keyboard and hold right click and move the cursor, I can change the time of day very simple so right now i can change it on the afternoon rendering maybe something like that can be really good 
but right now I need some brighter rendering near to the uh, sunrise in the morning so something like that can be lovely something maybe like this and if I hold Control plus U and I I can change the uh, sun angle and direction you can see the changes in your environment so it's completely experimental and related to your trainings and how much you learned from the uh, Enscape for SketchUp so right now you can see we can set our lighting like this and I can click on the visual setting in here click on the atmosphere increase the sun brightness to some number like 144 in here night sky brightness not really useful because we didn't render on the night mode so you can hold it out shadow sharpness related to these wires shadow on the facade design if I increase it you can see what's really happened right now I think it's not really necessary so 21% is enough artificial light brightness not really useful and ambient brightness not really important in here so when the option is completely zero I will come to the uh, image bar turn on the auto contrast and you can see now our colorization are much better than the other times so saturation don't touch it because most of the time it destroy your renders if I increase it you can see what really happened it only make your colors a little bit saturated not realistic so try to hold it in some number like 99% or 101% if you want some warm render reduce color temperature and if you want some cold render you can increase it it depends on you too so 7200 Kelvina is recommended for these type of rendering bloom option is not really useful lens flare is not really useful I can increase your vignette to create some type of dark effect in my rendering it completely depends on your taste right now I don't want to use it and chromatic aberration is near to the zero and in the main bar I can adjust some type of new options like focusing so if I turn on the depth of field turn off the autofocus and play with the focal point you can see some shiny line in your real-time rendering system I want to focus on these edges and the facade in here so something like that is really great but if I increase the depth of field I can create some blurnesses in the uh, defocus areas but right now I think something about 13% is really enough for me I'm gonna close it in here minimize and escape at the right side and sketch up in the left side so let's get to materializing our render I'm gonna start my job with this bicycle in here so I'm gonna click on the uh, paint bucket in this place click on the uh, picker click on the uh, Enscape material editor and now I can adjust all the materials that I want I'm gonna start my job with this bicycle so I'm gonna click on the bike body selected for me you can pay attention to these bicycles material first of all color I can recolor it to the uh, green black gray or some other type of colors like that right now I think something like silver can be really good silver and I want to reduce the roughness to create some metallic material something like 6.6 is enough and for metallic is about 16.8 spectral is not really important and you can see the changes in your job next item about the details is related to tires for example so I can click on these rings in here bike a seal winter so I can change the color of it to the white for example or something like gold I prefer to use golden ore in here 96 is enough and roughness is about 4 and I think it's much better than the uh, other times so next material is related to the uh, asphalt so I'm gonna click on these asphalt in here move it to this place it's don't have any height map in here but if I decrease the uh, roughness I can create some wet ground in here and you can see the house reflection on your asphalt surface I prefer to use 21.2% for it or maybe a little bit higher 31.9 
now it's much better and it can fill you some type of wet texture in your job 54 is enough and one person for the metallica another material related to the uh, facade design and body design so i'm going to click on the uh, texture picker click on these brown options in here and i can change the color of them to the white for example and you can see what's really happening in your job or to some type of dark gray color in here it completely depends on you i think white color is not bad so i prefer to use white color another important texture related to these dark areas in your house i can click on them and i don't want to change the tint color i prefer to reduce image fade in here and you can see what really happened inside your render now it's much better than the other times because in the other times you can see some type of oversaturated darkness about your rendering and final texturizing related to these fences so i'm going to select these fence in here it's absolutely metallica so i prefer to change the color tone to the uh, gray and reduce the metallica to the 66 and roughness to the uh, 8 all right everything is good you can change the color to the crimson for example but you can see the details and it's not really good so i prefer to hold my tonnage color in some type of good theme and scheme so everything is done for me and now i only want to adjust new material for my facade design so i'm gonna click on it you can see wall white color selected for me i will click on this option in here three points replace with enscape material it's really important so pay attention to it i prefer to select for example plaster in here i can use plaster as the exterior material i think plaster number four is really suitable for me it takes a bit of time and after that i can click on the replace option save and continue and plaster number four replaced for us so Enskip materials are PBR. It means that physical base reality materials. So I'm going to click on the intensity and increase the uh, height power. You can see the changes in your render. And I think it's really suitable for people who want to create some hyper realistic renders. It can really help you to increase your rendering quality. Roughness is about 69. Metallica is not really important and spectacular is about 54% in the image fade I can use 88% for it Everything is done. Now. I'm going to click on the texture and rotate it about 45 degree like that. So Everything is done for me now time for the rendering. So I'm going to maximize Enscape in here click on the Enscape assets library in this place and I want to add some more objects and personages for my render. It takes a little bit of time and after that Enscape Gallery will open for you. So I'm going to click on the uh, some option here which name is Street Props. I'm going to click on it. So I want to select some type of garbage can if I can find it out. So something like this. I'm going to move it out in here click on the selection select it move option and move it in this part of my job like that click on the apply changes so it's applied for me another important option related to for example something like maybe animals or vegetation it completely depends on you right now i want to use for example people Click on the tags option and use standing or walking people. I think standing is good, but I prefer to use walking people. And maybe this guy is suitable for me. I'm going to select it. It takes a bit of time. So this man selected for me. I'm going to select it. So a scale is not really accurate. So you can rescale your personage something like that click on the move option move it to this place you can rotate it move it and press apply changes as you can see 
these type of actions can be done so time for the rendering i'm going to click on the uh, screenshot and save it on my desktop the file name is not really useful and press save so if you want really high quality render you can increase rendering quality to the ultra mode and use the uh, batch render instead of using the screenshot option so i hope you enjoyed this video guys thanks for your time thanks for watching if this content is useful for you please like and subscribe our youtube channel and goodbye